Hey everyone, it's me, Violet Trotsky. And I'm Got Mick. And you are watching another amazing episode of No Gorge. <laughs> I forgot to say No <laughs> Gorge. <laughs> No, yeah, I saw you walk in with those rolled, and I was like, "Is that a is that a look?" Sometimes they like drag on the floor. I'm like, "Not worth it." This rave. Is that an All Saints sweater? I knew that was why you asked me. <laughs> I literally knew you asked me it because you I hate, like, hate All Saints. I don't hate All Saints. It's just funny. I have a, a friend Hunter who like went to an All Saints event and like got a step and repeat photo, and I just think it's funny because All Saints is like an elevated Zara. No, I wouldn't describe it as Zara. I don't think it's like two notches above Zara in my brain. But it's like gorgeous and cute. Like I have, I have an All Saints skirt. Look, it's leather. It's gorgeous. Has a stunning zipper. I like All Saints. I no, still think I it's funny. I got this sweater from All Saints, and she literally made fun of me for like a full hour. You also have it in white. No, that one's it's like cheap. It looks the exact same. That's well. my point proven. <laughs> point proven right there. Yeah. And where are the pants from? The pants. The pants. The pants. <laughs> the pants are from Strike Oil. We Nats, represent. I know, not Sketty's line. Strike Oil's been kind of turning it lately. Strike Oil is my favorite thing. When do I get my PR package? Because some of those clothes that you, I'm like, I want that. I told him that you said that. And he, so said, cute he said, he said, Violet, buy my fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm never wearing it. Got it. <laughs> no, Strike has been turning it out. Like Machine Gun Kelly's been wearing it a lot, and the way he styles it, he'll wear like little crop tops on stage, and like Will Smith. It's like oh, cute. a crop top, yeah. groundbreaking on a man. And the shoes, Bottega Veneta. I was with you, but you got these. Yeah, I love a Bottega. I'm a moment. pusher. I pushed you to get these. I'm a pusher. We'll see. I'm no no more clothes. Liar though. Violet keeps telling me she's like, this is it. No more clothes. No more shopping. Like da 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 da. Like I'm literally done. Period. And then we're like taking a break and I'll look over at her texting and it's like a full new custom dress she's getting made. And like, I'm like, you're lying. In my defense, I'm moving, right? I have so many clothes. So to the point where I have anxiety about it. And a lot of them are unwearable. So I'm like, I'm either getting rid of this piece of clothing or making it wearable or selling it or donating it or like whatever the like it's gotta either become a usable part of my life yeah. or it has to get so out of my life. So you're taking these random dresses you got at Goodwill and then spending like a thousand dollars on making it a dress. Not a thousand dollars. It was two hundred dollars to get two dresses altered. No. You want to see my Venmo with Vaughn? Yeah. I wonder if Vaughn watches these. <laughs> Hi Vaughn. Oh my God, Vaughn, my like dressmaker. He's Australian. He's amazing. He's my favorite person in the world. Well, not all the time, but most of the time. He <laughs> sent me this picture of Meryl Streep on a like red carpet, and she's wearing like a full just like monk outfit with like black readers and it looks exactly like the outfit Vaughn wears every single day it every day so funny if you knew him it'd be funny maybe I'll put like he hates his photo taken yeah he'll not let you he'll put not this like, in put there. A photo. but he like he said he could come on the podcast if we like put a bag on his head and boy, like, voice <laughs> like change his voice. voice let's do that one time I was at his studio and I like took a self a picture and he was like pinning something on me and I posted it and he was like you have to hide me put a sticker over my face oh. like censor it censor it so I posted a picture and he's like I think like kneeling and like pinning something but I, he like made me put an emoji over his face somebody in the comments was like that's so f rude how you wouldn't give credit to the person helping you you're such an elite you're such a snob that you would hide their face I'm like babe he does not want you to know who he is he does not want to be tagged he does not want to be photographed he does not want to be the star he is like a gardener no, he literally is a gardener he feeds me strawberries you can't win as a part of my new home renovation series I have been stockpiling home goods from thrift stores it's basically my passion the other day on the way home from Palm Springs we went to like eight eight and then the other day I was in picking up a sink in Calabasas and I went to like five more. You guys don't understand the stuff that I've been thrifting lately. It's actually really good and like surprisingly crazy. Gaggy. It's the thrill of the bargains that get me. They and it's from my mother. Bought, like, my mother and grandmother used to do this. My my grandmother would haggle at the Goodwill and be like, will you take five? Haggle at the Goodwill. Yes. I didn't even know you could do that. You can't. <laughs> so let me talk about my outfit then. Oh yeah, please. I'd love to know. Well, these are my now ruined Balenciaga boots that I've been wearing forever. We have been literally you guys we're like full-blown construction workers now no it's crazy i've actually never i you've never worked this hard in your life it's cracking a brewski brewski with the boys the way that it should it's, be filmed it's, it's literally crazy i because i've been helping this 
just hardcore and it's been like how many days now three or four? three days in a row three days in a row of like waking up and like driving at like 9 a.m i'm like gotta go to work like gotta i feel get like on I'm, the site no i'm fully like a construction worker like gotta yes. pick some clothes i don't mind getting ruined and i'm like getting ready to sand i'm like stretching and we're doing the attic and so it's like lower ceiling so i'm like yes like on yes, our like, like, knees. like hunched over hunchback of notre dame like well also violet's like oh, i've done this a million times before. no i'm not i've painted um, uh, yeah I've painted. so we were like painting i was like okay and she's like it'll only take like an hour literally the thinnest paint i've ever seen in my entire life okay so it doing, needs like, two coats that's normal minimum <laughs> oh also it's fully haunted yeah there's like doors opening on their own and closing on their own and like i'll hear like yeah, literally that. It's really scary. Those are definitely paw prints. <laughs> Correct? Yes! Coming... <gasps> There's something in your room. Oh my god. Did that door... I'm so scared. This is crazy. <laughs> And then Violet was like talking the other day and this door like slowly just opened like so slow and then slowly closed. And I was like, is there a window in there? And she was like, yeah. I'm like, okay, it's, it's, no, it has to be the window, like, but it was so slow. It's that giving, I was like, like Scooby-Doo. Like, you know, like on the old movies, it's like you're in an old house and there's like a door slams and it's like, oh, it's probably right. the draft. And when I'm watching horror movies, I literally am always like, how would they not just see the signs that like, oh, the cabinets are open or oh, this and well, just like be like, I have thing? to get out of here. And these signs are like to me worse. These signs. And then the light flickered last night oh, too. The light flickered so bad. It the wasn't just like a little flicker. Literally it like, went off and on. And then the okay. door slamming. It's you guys and then we were over there and we were like zhuzhing up the attic so then we're in there and we're like oh my god there's like black like dust coming from like this crack in the ceiling like what is that then i'm like Tiny okay words. so there was a fire apparently and yeah. definitely someone died <laughs> i'm tired no i'm tired too yeah it's like a, it's been hard this day getting up was a gnarly one that's why we haven't even had our cute cups we yet. don't have we're like the cute cups we need our coffees i got cold brew and a double shot well white chocolate a, i used to make coffee every day so i still have like my keurig moment i just don't so see I, like doing that made coffee what do you mean it makes sense with the mug well when i used to work every day i'd, I'd have to be like on set at like 6 a.m or whatever mm. so i'd be like Ugh. and i was also not rich enough to be post making a coffee every morning so right. i was like doing my little keurig and i still have it and i was like let me just do that this let me morning. break out the keurig yeah and it actually still lays better well, than starbucks i am me. gonna get an espresso espresso machine and get an espresso station at the new place yes i am i would love to see it but also i think i need back in the day when i was working all the time i was like younger i had more spirit i think and yeah. so a coffee or two would wake me up girl this i'm like i need an extra shot of espresso i need like no it's giving I don't need, talk to me until like, i've had my coffee literally like we're like old shot women and like a vivance to even get the party started oh my god christmas time is just insane i know it was so crazy we didn't even have time to exchange our gifts i know and it's like full january love it my gift took a minute to get together for you wow i can't wait well my gifts i originally did give you right which uh, here are photos everyone i literally got violet this gorgeous vase i was so excited like i hunt this sh down this uranium glass for her and i always find like the funnest most gorgeous pieces and it arrived so shattered and it's like a rare so one sad. i was so sad because i'm like a gift giver so i was so pissed when that came and i collect uranium glass it's just you know yeah so my heart broke along with the vase but whatever but the guy was cool and he gave me a refund and we glued it back together did you mm -hmm. well i glued it back together the, with glue well obviously but no like, did with you, some did other it, like, magical a, did you, substance like did it leave a line um it did but i'm gonna like alcohol it some more and uh, get the like glue i, I use super super glue well now you get two gifts because he gave me a refund because he found like a similar one on an auction mm -hmm. and his arrived shattered and he's like oh apparently so, this is like not it's possible to ship, doomed so. but it was like, like so you gave me a full refund so i use that money to buy you a new one i can't wait to see what it is i know your gift was customized specifically to your measurements. And I swear to God, if it does not fit, I'll be so mad. <laughs> Perfect. I'll be so mad. This one has a fragile um, sticker. I hope it's not broken. See, well, I was going to like bring it out of this, but I was like, I need to see if it's broken on camera. But and also, I don't know how to wrap presents. I only wrap them in my Violet Chachki totes that are also available for sale. Oh, and they accidentally gave me another one. So there's a side note. <gasps> a ring holder. Oh my God.
did. How cute. So, so this is a preview, but the actual gift opening, I think we should save for our Patreon community. I agree. So tune into Patreon to see what we get. I don't know if it's like I'm in a different position or whatever, but more than ever, people have been coming out of the woodwork being like, can I make a dress with you? Can you do, like, do you need a wig? Like, do you need oh like, shoes? Like, do you need like, like people are like hunting for the coinage this year. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it's just like a hard year for everyone. Cause I'm like, oh, it's been so hard for everyone. But like, I don't know who you guys, I was like responding to my like team of people that help me. I'm like, I don't know what you guys think I'm making, but like I'm struggling too through the holidays. No, me too. I'm like, baby, like, no more clothes, no more shopping, no more clothes, no more styled hair. Well, styled hair is out and I'll die on that hill. Yeah. Me next week with like a full. It, like she literally I can never listen to anything you say. Well, I'm a Gemini. I'm she'll contrarian. She'll be like, if you do that, you're gross and like you're sick in the head and like, <laughs> and I'll, like, be like hey. and I'll be like okay Violet damn and then she'll go do it or like going somewhere it's like she's like we're not going there literally no uh uh and then like an opportunity for you will come up she's like actually I'm going I'm, I'm going I'm like okay and like, that's you, called like, my I, prerogative I, that's my prerogative cannot like listen to you ever like i have well, to take everything you say with a grain of salt and just like do my own thing and like i'm glad you've come. learned that so we woke up on new year's day we woke up at like one i think yeah we were definitely slept in i'm always tired i think now that's just like part of who i yeah. am yeah. <laughs> that's just like who i am as a person now i think but i was like okay like what are we gonna do today it's like new year's day and i also like don't get like are things open are things closed who celebrates like what is the vibe and so i found this place that was open Open, and I was like, oh, great massage parlor. And usually I like to get like a Thai massage. I like when they walk on my back. Yeah. I love that. So I'm like, great. This place is good. Call them. They've got appointments. I get us appointments. I was like walking in first and they, they like stopped me. Do you have an appointment? And they like grabbed me. And I was like, eh, like, yes. Like it was so weird. Like no, they didn't want me to walk in. Very weird. Probably red flag. That red flag. Red flag for sure. Mm -hmm. So then I'm like, hi, I called like Jason. Like, and they were like together or separate because we had two appointments. And I was like, separate also and i'm now, now i'm thinking about what would they have done if we would have done it together i don't know i would have been like violet <laughs> but but no, also, i would have been like they like uh, took uh, violet uh, down the hall and i they it was kind of like the walls are like cubicles almost like there's no like ceiling like it does if the, you've ever been to like a um, thai or like whatever massage parlor it's like the they, walls don't touch the ceiling it's like just like cubicles yeah. with little doors like yeah. they drywall a little room and there's like and it's so open air we, like i always get like fully naked but for some reason this was like we walk in there's like one little sheet on the thing and my door was like on the entrance like it was like the like desk in the lobby and my, like me and i was like i don't really want to get like fully naked with this like one little sheet like yeah like i'm like and the masseuse wasn't like take off your clothes and like i'll be back. no they like, did not say anything we they were like here's your room and i was like usually like okay so just get comfortable and then get under the sheet and then lay face down and I'll be back and here's yeah. a candle and the music's playing. And there like, was nothing. None of that. It so, was really like, here's the room. So for some reason, the first time in my life, I like kept my fucking little boxer briefs on. Just like, I was like, I don't know, this is weird. And then- Well, I'm, I'm glad you it. picked up on that because I did well, not. The only reason I did, because I was like right off the thing, like they were opening the doors and it was like all the people walking. And it was like crazy. So I'm like, I don't really want to be like, naked like right there so right. i don't know but that's so weird of me so i have no idea why i did that my six senses were tingling they must have been because i am always like if i'm paying i don't want my panties in the way yeah i want to be butt naked you need to get up in these in glutes and get to the like put your back like, i want to be massaged and i want to yeah. be tranquil and naked mm -hmm. and all those things always so i always I get know, there was something i always get butt naked and there was a little sheet so i was like all right well i'm just gonna do what i normally do even though no one's giving me instructions but the sheet was like the thinnest it was a piece blanket. it was a square of fabric yes, yes like a square of like thin thin linen like not a real sheet i don't know how to describe it it was so bizarre yeah. anyways i get butt naked and i put the sheet over me i lay face down with my butt up and my head in the like circle thing literally the guy like walks in and just like sort of like i guess is feeling for knots in my back whatever and then like gets down and rips the sheet off of me and i'm just bare ass butt ass naked with this guy yeah. i was like Whoa! Mm -hmm. okay we have two different masseuses also yeah. going at the same time the way they were fingering us that was a really way wild way to jump into that <laughs> no literally like, like so in they're like, my they're like, like massaging my leg and then they like go up and then he goes like 
under like my underwear and he's like massaging my ass and then he like he like literally on. like goes like in me and i was like oh like that was an accident like that was an accident and then he like goes up again and it happens again i was like oh my that God. was not an accident this not is his technique accident. and then i remember just being like hey going the other the other leg and i go here it comes like <laughs> <laughs> literally i'm having the exact same experience in a different room down the hall from a different masseuse. But you have underwear on. But I baby. don't. And he's rubbing my taint, my hole, yes. my gooch. Like, but he'll like rub the leg and then just like slide yes. up and rub yes. down and slide. And then I kind of like opened my back. eyes and he was like on like all fours and like my hand was like on his thigh vibes and I was like, oh my god, this is kind of the. Mo I feel like this like, is the moment I would reach and that you like give them consent oh to be god. like, like grab and be like, right. yes. He like, like, okay, he like took my right arm I remember and like put it out like this on the table I was face up first of all there's so many things he's rubbing my literal hole and I'm like don't get hard 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 and then I'm like is he hot though looking to see and I'm like no he's not well, he's that not he's was not, the not. Thing too. and then I'm like don't get hard don't get hard don't get hard don't get hard don't I'm like furniture light fixtures like what can I think about like don't get hard don't get hard don't get hard and then he's like roll over but he's not like holding the sheet I'm just naked yeah. with no sheet so I'm like okay so I just roll over and my full dick is just like no underwear fully out and then he's rubbed he's so i'm like this and he like takes my arm and flings it out like this he's rubbing my shoulder and then my hand is like on his dick basically yes yeah, like i think they were like waiting for us to be like, like that's consent yeah like let's go baby. and i was like no not hot enough for me but if he but was, was hot but it was so it was like horny kind of so i was just like maybe we don't kiss <laughs> <laughs> And then I was thinking that I was like, okay, we're in Palm Springs. We requested male masseuses. Like, duh. I bet those f***ing guys do that all the time. Like, go there and just, like, have a little one, too. Buckle my shoe. I have no idea. We should ask, like, Theron or I've someone that lives there. I've never had a massage like this in my life life no it was crazy and then we both like go out and violet was like taking a long time to put her clothes on or something and i was like sitting on the bench like this like so scared and then violet comes out and pays and then we go outside and i just go so how is that for you <laughs> <laughs> and then to palate cleanse that we went to this amazing italian restaurant oh yeah we and went to you guys castelli's castelli's like i feel like i'm 100 years old because i haven't had service this good since like 1997 like i remember <laughs> as a child having a server act the way that this server was acting yeah, towards no, it was us. Crazy. Like, like, it was like a dance. It was like timed and just beautiful and pleasant. And, and the just, server had an assistant. And they swept the breadcrumbs and they it but smelled like, in the like best way, garlic. Usually like, the breadcrumb sweeper like pisses me off. I'm yeah, because like, they're like, I'm like, like, no, he came in and like, it was like they were choreographed. Like yeah, it, was it was gorgeous. I want to go back to this restaurant just for that. It was yeah. beautiful. And they had these garlicky, bready things. Remember those little, like, yes, the garlic yes. breaded? No, it was amazing. And then we, like, go to this one of my favorite bars in um, Palm Springs. Like, like, a few years ago, I wanted them to have my birthday party because I'm obsessed. And they only play, like, show tunes, just, like, gay stuff. It was my first time going, and you guys. It's called Quads. It's a room full of staring at TV screens. It's like the pregame and the after party like made it into a bar. It's like, insane. Last time I was there too, they were playing Xanadu and like Olivia Newton-John was on and literally they had like white napkins and everyone was like waving them. Like it was just crazy. It's no, the funnest Rens bar. come on? What song came on that everyone goes, every, <gasps> No, every time someone comes on, they're like, it's like Meryl Streep and the like, <laughs> like the whole bar will like, go will start like, yelping it's, it's so insane crazy. it's the best place i've ever been in my entire life because you yes. don't have to talk no one's talking to anyone oh. they're all we're all just like watching and then like grease will come on everyone goes oh my god yeah it's like hedwig grease um, oh my god the Tear producer spray, the producers oh my god oh my god like and they have it just like going all the time. it'll be like a, a performance from the tonys like just like yes. red, like sound of music like we were there and nino west was like i feel seen i was like we were actually discussing you there because the hairspray, hairspray came hairspray, on John Travolta. yeah that was crazy and then like i went to the bathroom and like got like hot and so weird and like out of breath and i literally had a full panic attack at the show tunes bar to the point where i had we had to go outside and like violet had like 911 on the phone my heart like felt you guys, like i thought you were gonna have a heart attack like it was, was so you could like scared. feel it it was crazy but i wasn't like crying or anything which usually when i have a panic attack it's like crying right and then we went outside and i was like on your lap laying and you were playing enya and then xanadu was playing and i was like if i have a heart attack and die to xanadu and enya at the same time in palm springs enya always calms me down i was scared that i was gonna have a heart attack too but then i took like a little quarter of a xanax and when? i you gave it to me oh right you haven't really talked about the house that much the no. visions for this
fucking house are the craziest things I've ever heard of in my life. <laughs> like, it's literally like the Madonna Inn, if you've ever heard of that, but like on better. crackier and better. Like, she'll crackier? Be like, no, like, the, whoa, it, whoa, 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 whoa. It'll start Who out, the f- it'll start out being like, this is my like Greek room. And I'm like, oh, that's. And I get the vision. And then she'll be like, it's also going to be the Greek fetish room. I'm like, that kind of goes hand in hand. I see that for sure. And she's like, also, these clown paintings are perfect for the Greek fetish room. And I'm like, where? This circus Greek it's fetish? Pure, first of all, they're puros. It's the, they're like children puros. I'm like, this is the craziest room. Like, you Well, keep- I want to get these. Pr- I have prints in mind that are more Grecian, but I you just. Need- they're phases. Phase one, I already have. Crazy. I'm like, it cannot be a circus fetish greek like fetish clown room yeah. yes it can yes it can and it will oh my god it's so funny. well i think once i get all the stuff in there i'll have a better sense like right now i'm just like putting it together in my brain and i have so many ideas and i also like collect art so i just have so much of it and I it's know. just like and i've been like helping her and i'm like okay i think i have like a good idea of this room so now i can like help with this and then she'll be like isn't this perfect for like my like <laughs> like butterfly like m- banana room and i'm like what like no it's not like i'm like so confused no and then the other day we like i was like and then i'm gonna put this sconce in here with this dress she's like but that has gold and that's gunmetal you have to change all the gold like i'm like yeah, she like stresses you're stressing me out yes because then i'm like okay so now we have to work on strategically mixing the metals in this room so i think mixing place. brass and chrome and gunmetal i have to get one sculpture that has all three of those metals and then it'll all make sense i used to have like a phobia of mixing metal Metals, and then I got into it and I'm like obsessed with like the perfect levels of being able to mix the metals but it's hard it's really hard Mixing I think I have to maybe make a sculpture you do like well and then in that room like, too there's like lucite like that's supposed to be like my lucite I have a lucite bed shelf. and I have a lucite shelf and I have a lucite cabinet and neon si- it's like and it's like, neon it's like neon and it's jungle no. it's jungle <laughs> themed as well because of the green malachite furniture it, and it. I have that panther statue so I'm like this is the jungle room yeah we have to pick a metal I think but you guys the gypsy rose blanchard content that has been coming out i don't know how i feel about it i love it so weird i want to manage her i'm like babe let's get you over here i will be so respectful i want to style her i'd love to give her a makeover i want to style her so bad like move over julia fox gypsy rose is here no but i feel like she has the potential to be like a style icon like i know she did something wrong and she talks about that and we've why would she be a style icon just because it's not about the look anymore it's about like what you represent and to me for the youth she represents like getting out of the bad situation that you were forced to be put in like not letting your life circumstance dictate your life like she's like the most gnarly example of that you could ever find and i feel like that's what the youth is like so gagged about it's like she figured out a way to get herself out of the prison that was her life it's crazy i agree with that and like, like that work, is a style but, that's like but all that is inspiring i don't agree with that being a style icon but babe she had she that called. dior saddlebag you saw it yes but I don't know. We wish Gypsy nothing but the best. Truly. Like, please. And if you want to come on this podcast, please. I know. I wanted to pick her up from Gypsy. Well, she liked my comment. I said, we she love did. you. She did. She did. I said, we love you, Gypsy. And she liked it. And I was like. <laughs> so, love Gypsy. Wild. Can't wait to see what's in the future. And can't wait to watch the Lifetime thing on. I know. On Patreon. That'll be fun. Sign up for our Patreon. Yeah, so we're just going to keep on renovating Violet's little attic the next few days. We're going there today. We are mudding the drywall, putting the drywall up, ripping up the carpets, sanding everything down, putting on masks. And it's all haunted this whole time. Painting everything, putting down linoleum. Like, I got to find someone to miter all the baseboards. Like, it's just like a whole... Thing. I think at this point we can do it. But I, it's like I asked the guy at Home Depot, there's like a special miter box that you can like, I saw it on like Reels or TikTok or whatever. And you like put the baseboard in this like miter box and you can like miter the corners. If we get the measurements, I don't see the issue. I don't at know. this point, I feel like I can build a house. I mean, we have been like slaying it. I'm honestly gagged every day. I'm like, well, no, I we know. just did so much. We're like the first day, it. just ripping up the carpet and like pulling out all the nails and the staples and stuff took us like eight hours. We also take breaks. We Not the first day. We were like in 
it like going I, I was actually gagged at us i was like wow and then the second day because there's like a lot of things so we were like working on the paint a little bit and then we take a break and then we work on it and like yeah and the paint took like four hours yesterday a mix hours just fly by when you're working well, on the we site. just under we're like oh that'll be easy and like it'll take like not that long and then it's like not easy and it so, takes long <laughs> so long which is like the quintessential renovation like it's like it's gonna cost more it's gonna take longer it's gonna be harder yes and it's true but i'm excited it's all gonna come together i hope it will it and is. uh we've got some fun stuff coming up i know new merch new photo shoots coming out some traveling coming up fashion gigs big announcements big launches renovations projects honey projects video shoots photo shoots glamorama <laughs> ding dong I'm scared Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of No, no Gorge. Gorge. And we'll see you next week. I love you, Gorge. And make sure you check out our Patreon. We post the episodes a week early and the full hour video. Full hour video a week early. You get mini episodes. There's Pulse. different tiers. You get so many things over there. No. And we like, it's more of a community. We yeah. get into the, the chit chat. The chit chat of it all. The true fans are up in the gig. Yeah. Love you guys so much. See you next week. Big Witch. No, no Gorge.